And so for him to do a complete change now and say that he actually wants to leave the city, it's quite surprising and um, maybe a little questionable. Well, there's two things. One, uh, a friend of the family, uh, Joe Warrington, was here last week, and he said, Doug is running because he can't stand John Tory. I put that to John Tory, and he said, well, that's not a very good reason to run for mayor. And now, of course, the other one's come up that he has said, my brother asked me to run. Yeah. And he acknowledged he didn't like City Hall and was glad to get out and run his business. Are those two reasons alone enough to propel him? to the mayor's office? It's always up to the candidate in the end, you know, but in terms of what the public is seeing there, I think what they're seeing is a person who was finished with political life. We're seeing a person who really... So was Richard Nixon, so was Winston Churchill. All these people were finished with political life. But it's also the baggage. Let's talk about the baggage that Doug Ford brings in. You know, I watched this last term of council, Stephen. Doug Ford was easily the most divisive person in that council chamber, and now he wants to leave that council chamber. Doug Ford has made some pretty provocative comments during his time as council. I don't know if you remember the incident with Griffin House, uh, which was in his ward, a uh, center for children with autism, which he said was ruining the neighborhood. And he said some quite horrible things about those children. This is the man who wants to lead, but his record is one of deep division. So clearly you're not a, a supporter of Doug Ford. Well, it's not about whether or not I'm a supporter, you know. I, I get a vote like everybody else, but in, in t speaking to you and to your viewers, I'm trying to talk about what I see. I'm yeah. trying to analyze how well someone like Doug Ford would succeed in that environment. Because remember, Stephen, as much as you want to be an aspirational leader and carry on Mayor Ford's legacy, Mayor Rob Ford's legacy, you've still got to be able to work with that council to get anything done. And Doug Ford has proven really that he was better at making enemies at city council, which is why I raise these concerns. Do you think that the Ford Nation, and you saw the poll that came out this week, uh, that transference is a Ford vote, so it just goes from one Ford to another Ford? Or was a, a lot of that vote a Rob vote? which may not go to Doug. That's a really good question. I think the answer is that you can't expect 100% transference. Some people love Rob Ford for who he is and the fact that he has dealt personally with them. They may not have that connection to Doug Ford, so that'll be interesting. As to where the rest of that vote may go, who knows? I mean, some people might say that uh, John Tory is a like-minded conservative, that it may go his way, but at the same time, you know, Rob Ford said many times that he would rather be beaten by Olivia Chow and uh, there are a lot of people in his camp who may go her way too. I don't think everybody realizes that, but some people don't go on this left-right split. They go on who they know and who they trust. Yeah, and who they may just like. Now, we have uh, just a minute left, but the Toronto has five and a half weeks left. It's going to be a wild campaign for one that started nine months ago. Indeed. Um, what, is, what are you anticipating? Is it going to be a roller coaster? Is it going to be a snore? Are we going to have a full discussion of all these views and these TTC plans again? We may. I think that uh, Doug Ford is mostly going to run on his brother's platform. I don't think he has time to do much else. But I think that his entry really does change the dynamic, particularly that Doug Ford, as I said, is a kind of divisive guy. And when he gets into those debates, Stephen, and he gets challenged, uh, the nature of him as a leader and as somebody who can work with people is really going to be tested, and we're going to see what that means. Could be fireworks. Desmond Cole? Good to have you. I was always